Salvaging SARS CoV 2 Task Force. Salvaging adds tocilizumab to its official list of recommended COVID 19 medications. We have been monitoring tocilizumab for some time now and have already reported on its potential in previous keynotes. We are of the opinion that it could, under certain circumstances, be used in the treatment of COVID patients. As is standard procedure for all approved medications, we will study the individual pharmacogenetic profile of our salvaging premium clients to establish whether they are able to metabolize the drug. This check will be incorporated into our COVID-19 immunization program with immediate effect. We must emphasize that, in the case of SARS-CoV-2 infection, tocilizumab is used only to treat the consequences of having contracted the disease, similar to dexamethasone. It has no antiviral effect, but is used exclusively to mitigate the severity of an infection and the complications arising from it. We have already seen ample evidence that tocilizumab taken together with dexamethasone can reduce the number of patients requiring artificial respiration. The recently published results from the UK recovery study, in which 10,000 people took part, show that tocilizumab, in combination with dexamethasone, achieves a 33% reduction in the death rate amongst intensive care patients, compared to 29%, which is the figure for dexamethasone used on its own. There is anecdotal evidence from the treatment of former US President Donald Trump that the decisive factor in his recovery was the timely use of dexamethasone rather than the viral inhibitor remdesivir, and certainly not the Regeneron antibody agent. By the time ex-President Trump was helicoptered to the hospital for a three-day stay, it was far too late to use antivirals or antibodies to stop this disease, as the virus had already taken hold, and it was really only a matter of fighting the consequences of this virus spreading through the bodily organs. The medical principle of tocilizumab is simple. It calms down the patient's immune system, which, in the later phase of the disease, may react too strongly to the pathogen and ultimately lead to death. As we have said on many previous occasions, this process is the real danger from contracting the disease. We need to reiterate that the main focus of our COVID-19 immunization program is on preventing the immune system from going into overdrive, because this is indeed the core problem. Once again, we would urge you to refrain from the unregulated consumption of vitamins and so-called immune system boosters, as this can be extremely counterproductive. Tocilizumab was originally formulated as a medication for the treatment of rheumatic complaints. In contrast to the cortisone preparation dexamethasone, it targets only a very specific part of the immune system, the interleukin-6, IL-6 cytokine. IL-6 plays a significant role in the Salvagene Premium Program, as well as the Salvagene COVID-19 Immunization Program. We not only measure IL-6 levels by means of blood serum samples, but in particular epigenetically monitor the methylation status of the IL-6 receptors. This messenger substance is released by individual defense cells to alert others and line them up for battle against the pathogen. Ultimately, the aim is to downregulate the IL-6 receptor in the preemptive phase, which is responsible for COVID-19 immunization. In our COVID-19 immunization program, this stands alongside the second major pillar, the activation of the interferon receptors. If the cytokine interleukin-6 is blocked, the self-harming effect can be prevented. Tocilizumab has long been approved for the treatment of the autoimmune disease rheumatoid arthritis, but it also reduces pain and joint damage. That tocilizumab also works against the autoaggressive immune cells in COVID-19 patients was already suspected in April 2020, see keynote number 15. However, initial studies have yielded rather mixed results. Of course, it is not an alternative to dexamethasone, but rather an additional reinforcement to it. We will keep our premium clients informed about further drug recommendations.